Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to Let's Play Mad Games Tycoon. My name is Weasel. With me is the Wheatley. He just flew over, and uh, we're currently, well, about to sell, actually. Bob Pilgrim versus the world, or Bob's Pilgrim. Is it, is it Bob's Pilgrim, or is the Pilgrim called Bob, or is his name Bob's Pilgrim? Who knows? In any case, we're going to go on a middle booth, I say. We don't need the big one. I'm going to go with Dragon Punch and Bob Pilgrim versus the world. Let's see. 33,000 fans. Man, nearly half a million fans. That's actually quite impressive. And how much do we have in stock? 1.6 million. Already sold 135,000 on the first week. We're still producing, though. So that's exciting. And I think we're going to sell quite a bit here. Uh, we're going to start another marketing campaign for that. I'm going to push it a little bit further. And I think it's time for a, a game update for Bob Pilgrim vs. The World. Just to throw on more content. Just to make people more happy and even give it some love. Um, Dragon Punch, on the other hand. Actually, nothing in stock. And I think it's also time. With 3,000 orders. Ooh, okay. Alright, stop production for this. Produce game. I say we produce like 10k of Dragon Punch. So just so we finish the last orders here. There you go, and we... Oh, nearly 10,000! Oh, actually, fully 10,000. We have 6,000 more orders! Well, I guess we're gonna have to produce another 25. Just so we sell that. Fa game Fair finished, and Bob Pilgrim vs. The World got another update. Very good. I'm gonna start another Game Fair, just to keep him happy. Uh, yeah, looks good. Looks good. Just wanna make sure you have orders, 6,000. Alright. Oh, look at that! Like, a little bit extra money from the Demon Hunter game. New engine. It's always always nice to throw that in there. Uh, yep. Stock 6,000 left. Before someone orders, we're gonna take the game from the market. Uh, 18,000 18, Dragon Punch. Man, this thing is still selling really well. Here, we're gonna take it from the market. I made 64 million. Wow. That's, that's a lot. I think uh, Bob Pilgrim vs. The World is going to do also quite fantastic. Uh, yeah, we're going through our stock here right now. I think it's... What? How, for how much am I selling this? I think it's a smaller game, so I decided to not sell it for that much. Uh, price and packaging, 22, okay. Yeah, I think we're gonna make quite a lot of cash monies on this. Hey guys, from QA, I'm going to throw you all over to research, and we're going to research quite a lot. Another research episode. Okay, marketing campaign has concluded for that. Ooh, that really helped. Okay, you know what? We're gonna produce another million. I just feel, I feel, I feel good about this, and got another do TV campaign for this as well. Here you go. And you guys, I want you to... Oh, right. Any features? No new features available, man. This is just, just topics that we can research. And this is going quite fast. I could just click through all of them. Okay, guys. Yep, yep. Go over there. While we do other things, we're just going to research all them topics. I mean, it takes two seconds to go through that. We should really go with the trend again. Oh, isn't that a license, actually? Yeah, I bought a license, right? It's uh, uh, Bob's Pilgrim vs. The World is a license game. I totally forgot about that. That's good. It probably explains why it's selling so well. I mean, it's really doing fantastically. 120,000 another, another per week. I mean, that's 17 million so far. Really excited about that. All right, what's currently... And five weeks is going to be the hot new topic. I wonder if we can produce fast enough. Um... We should be able to. Can we? Can we even? Ooh, horror! Oh, horror games! Right, should probably go at that. I have a million on stock, still producing quite a lot. And the sales are crazy with this one. They're strong with this one. Anything else that my department could do? Because I don't think they can do anything. Graphics studio, you can improve a game if you're not developing one. I guess we we're just gonna throw out another game update here. Let's let's make a massive one, 240,000 with all the things in there. And in the meantime, you guys keep researching. Uh, marketing. I might as well throw another TV campaign be, uh, uh, after it, just to see how far I can push this game. Man, art and music must be so bored right now. There's like nothing to do for them. I mean, I can always throw them into training though, right? Okay, Michelle. You know, I, sh I should train you guys. That's actually a really good idea. Let's get some graphic training going um, while the rest does their thing. Thank you. Uh, let's see if we got some training guys in there. Or, you know what? I should just look for staff graphics. Maria, right, right, right. Man, really good with graphics. Weasel, you're also really good with graphics, but I don't want you in the graphics department. Frank, aren't you in the sound? Oh, yeah, Frank is doing sound as well. He's really balanced out. You know what? Karen, you're going in there. Um... 
who else? Like a fifth person, maybe? I don't know. I mean, I can't always just throw more people from maybe um, QA in there just to learn more. Eh, four more. Let's let's throw a few from this office over here. I'm uh, going to figure out who's the who's the good artist again. Training course. E graphics. Yes. Advanced character design. Very well. One person in QA. Poor person. Tracking bugs. <laughs> wow, that's a big update. That really throws more onto this. All the sales going. Still a hundred th Oh, wow. 250,000? I did not expect such a big boost in sales because of that update. Uh, I guess we're going to produce another million at least. I said two million. We're just going to milk that game until nobody can see it anymore. 270,000 per week. I really believe I cannot produce as fast. Yep, bar barely can keep up with the producing here. I did not know I could make that many sales on top of that if I just throw on uh, updates. That's actually super fantastic. I'm very excited about that. Mafia, now I can use that, good. Ah, more training. Um, here, more advanced character design. Lot per week, as much as I can throw on there. Hey, research topics, you do martial arts, whatever. I mean, do I need... You know what? Let's let's do another marketing. I mean, we make so much money with that, we might as well throw another marketing campaign out there. Even though I would love to develop a new game right now, I'm just curious how far I can push this. And I can push it quite far. Um, Wheatley Entertainment is the studio of the year. And 4.2 million and 2 million from the games at the end of the year. That's actually super awesome. What year is it? 2011. I wonder if we're like a little bit behind. So let's see if there's some features. Nope, no new features. Something else that I can research other than topics. Research genres, no. Oops, don't want to move the fan. Well, let's just go with the topics then. If we got them out of the way, we got them out of the way. Okay, so it's going down to 100,000 again per week. Um, I think, stop production. We're gonna produce the game. Bob Pilgrim vs. The World, let's say another million. And we're gonna develop a new game update for it. Just throw up all the things on there and see what happens. If it goes back to 200,000, that would be insane. I mean, this game has been on the market for half a year now. And it's still selling like hot bread, fresh bread. Fresh, freshly sliced bread. I don't know, something along those lines. All right, more training. Pixels for everyone. Actually, and more advanced character design. Yeah, look at that, how we're ramping up the graphics here. It's exciting. Very good. Um, music department has nothing to do. I mean, I wish I could improve the sounds. Uh, could help out with the update. I mean, you know, it's a studio. It's a shame that you can only use them when you're working on a ga new game. All right, marketing campaign is concluded. The update has concluded. That boosts it up to 200,000. Holy moly, this game. This game's crazy. It's crazy. Okay. Um, we're going to change the price in the packaging to boost it even further. I'm going to say we're going to go down to 18. Europe. And that should really give it the rest. Mercenary with spaceships. That is a very expensive planetary title. I don't mind that at all. Yerp. Look at those sale numbers. I can barely keep up. Still 200,000. I guess let's throw half another million on there. Just for the extra cash monies. And I think it's time to develop a new game now. I have been working on all these things for way too long. Um, let's drag the best artists over now that they finished their course. Uh, graphics 100. Yes. Graphics 41, that sounds good to me. Uh, that's also fairly high. 40, yep, you're going over there. Okay, four people in here, that's exciting. Graphics 100, wow, that's, that's really a lot. I wonder if there's someone that's better in graphics that would be a better fit, let's see. Um, There, graphics 65 Frank, but he's actually, yeah, like a weasel. No, I'm not gonna send him over. I'm just gonna keep him there. Oh wait, one too many in the studio. Oh, oh, I dragged way too many people in here. My bad. Okay, everyone out of here. Everyone out of here, and we're, we're just taking the best ones. Okay. For example, Maria. Maria, you're going to go into that studio. Renee is 37, 40. That's good. Chris, no, you're not as good at that. Graphics 30, 45. Okay, and one more, and that's gonna be this guy. All right. 
call you three. I'm just gonna throw you back into development because we're gonna start a new game. Research, yeah, we're gonna tune that down a bit. We're gonna need that in QA again. Which does remind me, I think I also need music. I totally forgot about that. Staff, staff, music, okay. I wish I knew where they're working on them. Um, Frank was really good. Um, he's also really good at programming, so I'm not gonna use him for that. Weasel, same here. Benedict Davis, music, yes, you're going in there. Oh, oh, that would explain a lot of things. <laughs> I took all the arches out of there, that's why I was confused. Okay, I totally botched that one up. Well, let's keep looking for music again. Sound, music and sound, nah, Thomas, Thomas. Yes, I will take you, select employee. Look at that work well. Ah, uh, that's Sound Studio, okay. So we actually have more room for artists than I thought we would. That's cool. Meaning I'm going to have to look through graphics. Let's keep four people there, that sounds good. Yeah, you're you're perfect, you're 62 graphics. Staff, graphics, who else? Uh, someone specialized, what is that? Four color bit support. I don't know if we actually do need you there, but yeah, you know what? The studio is not quite full. Uh, graphics, graph, no, no. No, yeah, you were all sound. Wow, graphics 96, Michelle Baker. You definitely need to go in there. All right. We're all good. Two people in sound. I want a fourth person in sound. Sorry that I have to, like, organize this now, but then I'm not gonna touch it again once I have the people in there that I would like. Ah, music and sound, music and sound. Uh, Renee, we already had you. Jade. Yeah, let's let's go with that. You're not good at anything else, so might as well throw you in there. And one more person for sound. Sound, sound, sound. In there, 15. Christian Fox. Uh, what is the specialization? Cutscenes. 16-bit music. Oh, wait, we already had you. Anyone else that's good at music? Yeah. Daniel Rutten. All right. Okay, now I got my, 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 my studio set up the way I like it. Uh, rest, I'm just going to balance this out between QA and whatnot. Uh, you go QA. Got a lot of people in QA, and let's maybe throw a few more from training. Yeah, all of you into game design. And then we're gonna start a new game that we should develop. We really should be up on that. Um, wow, Bob Pilgrim is still all the way up there. Still sitting 100,000 per week. I guess I'm gonna just produce a million more. Let, let it just do that, and I'm not gonna bother uh, um, doing marketing on that. Actually, screw that. Let's do some marketing on that. Okay, time to develop a new game. It's not worth to do a game update. One person is still sitting in here. Who's that? Who's sitting in training and is not working? I don't know, someone someone is still in there. I'm gonna throw him into QA when we can. All right, let's develop. Actually, do we need to improve our engine? Features, well, ad adaptive AI, but we're not gonna do that. We don't need a new engine. We could develop a new one for different purposes, and I think we should do that. What about, for example, um, economic simulation. Eco and yeah, and the eco engine. Yeah, why not? Eco engine 1.0, and we're gonna give it all the cool features. I personally like economic simulations; they're really awesome. Quick question: Do I need sprite scroll? You know what? I'll throw. I throw. Yeah, all features in there. It's two million to develop. That's like nothing. We're gonna sell up the engine, profit sharing. We're gonna ramp that up to 40% again. Uh, it costs nothing to buy. Or you know what? I'm gonna do 100,000 to buy. Nah, zero. I want people to use it. That's the idea. If they use it and I get 40%, which is an insane share, then I'm happy. All right, while they are developing, I'm just gonna have to wait this out. Right! Well, I guess it's gonna keep researching topics because everyone's bored. Everyone is bored in QA. There's nothing to do. Who's still sitting in training? Oh, it's uh, Warren Spectar. <laughs> Very good. Warren, come over here. Okay, you, you're gonna keep researching topics. I wish I could just say, like, research all topics, please, because they're researched so fast. Just, you know, take the time and go through all of them. Ooh, 1492, an adventure. Guaranteed some 5,036,000% profit share. Eh, I'm not crazy about that, to be honest. It has four stars, but I'm gonna reject that offer. I don't care too much. We still are selling... Scott Pilgrim like crazy. I'm gonna just do another 500,000. I guess I could even do a million. This is crazy that that thing is selling so well. I mean, I'm throwing marketing on there, but then again, it's still crazy. 
All right, what we got here? Three stars? Eh, no. You want 5 million, 45%? No, can do. Okay, we got the new engine. It's time to develop a game or maybe a successor. Nah, we're gonna do a game. Game size, it's going to be triple A, 50 features. It's gonna be really big. An economic simulation with some simulation in there? Yeah, sounds good. A topic, maybe a topic that we're good at. Would make sense. Pirates, UFOs, wizards. Do we have cities? Cities? Yes, we have cities. An economic simulation about cities. What could it possibly be? How about... Um, weasel farm tycoon. I like that. You have a weasel farm. You need to take care of little weasels. And... Um, I don't know what you're going to do with the weasels at the end then. But um, yeah, the eco engine optimized for simulations. It's just 2 million. I could probably just make an engine for all the things that I need. Uh, select a license. Yeah, that's not going to happen. That we, we don't need that. I, it's my first triple A, I think, if I'm not completely mistaken. MMO cost 2.5. Yeah, we should really do we'll go to MMOs again. Um, let's select what other platforms we have. Buy dev kits. Wish I could do more platforms. <clears throat> Four platforms is a little low, but eh, whatever. Okay. Already have an idea where this needs to go. We should probably read some fan letters about economic simulations. Let us have a look. Actually, I don't have any fan letters, so I don't know if I should improve on something. That is a city game? No. I have no idea what that one is. All right. Let's go with the suggested concepts. Uh, copy protection. We're going to buy a new one. The data shield 3.0. That sounds good. And, ah, the balancing, right, 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 right. Uh, I'm gonna keep like, eh, like, like this. Maybe we can even give sound a little bit extra in gameplay 35, yeah. Sounds like a good balance to me. Okay, we can select actually all the features. Um, I mean, of course, there's you can only have one certain kind, a 32-bit color support. You should be able to have a 16-bit color support as well, you know, for, for lower spec systems, but apparently that's not true. So I guess we're going to take all the good things. Ah, okay, some features deactivate other features. That's good to know. So these are actually all not necessary. That's okay, that's okay. 11 point million cost of development of this AAA title. 3 million just through our new WDK 3.0 engine. And over here, we're going to... Hmm. Oh, right. You're all in research now. Uh, we got enough topics for now. I'm just going to designate you again to uh, create, improve the gameplay. How about... We're going to start with game mechanics. 75,000. That's the most pricey one. It's a big game. It's going to develop and take some bit. We're going to do a large booth. We're going to promote Pop Pilgrim again. And, of course, the Weasel Farm Tycoon. People need to know about that. 66,000 vans. That brings us over half a million, actually, now. And we're going to improve sounds of the game. We're going to go over the biggest stuff. Professional voice recordings. Definitely something you need in a tycoon game, I guess. And highly detailed 3D models. Sure. Sounds misplaced efforts, but hey. Running another campaign here. Oh, we got someone else missing that I didn't take over. Where is he sitting? Oh, there he is. Tim. Tim Schuffler. You're going into QA. Development is full. These guys are working on it. These guys are working. Everyone's working on all the things. Exciting. And... I guess it's time to speed it up and just wait until the things are done. Man, Bob Pilgrim, that thing. 106 million. We can definitely move to a bigger office soon. I mean, it's just crazy how much that game sold. Just absolutely insane. I mean, it's still selling 70,000 per week, so I'm going to produce, let's say, not a 500,000. Just to keep up with demand. I mean, why would I stop selling it? I mean... You know what? I can I can always still throw another TV campaign on there. Wish there was an option, just like keep running campaigns until you to uh, tell until uh, you tell you that <laughs> tell you to stop. You know, I I need a manager that manages different things. Even if it, if it would be pricey, it would be nice. Highly detailed 3D models, and we're only 50% in. Means we can even improve graphics even further. I'm gonna do some high resolution textures there, and I do not know if. What did the marketing campaign do, by the way? Eh, not too much. But it does something, and we're running out of stock again. So might as well throw another half million on there. After that, I should really take it off the market. Because we need to start thinking about producing our own stuff. All right, let's improve the gameplay one more time. And after that, we're going to have to hunt bugs. A lot of bugs. Let's go with level design. 
Okay, create a marketing campaign. Yeah, you know what? I could do a marketing campaign for uh, Weasel Farm Tycoon to get people really excited for the game. Anything in the head offices I can do? Eh, not too much. Okay. Oh, I should compare myself to other engines. Buy engine. Let's see what the engines cost. Here, 55% profit sharing and 300,000. Man. I should probably uh, uh, change my engines up <clears throat> to a higher profit sharing. If they do 50%, that's crazy. Then again, I want people to use it over theirs. So, that's what I'm doing. Okay. Professional voice recordings are done soon. Yeah, we really have to get started on those bugs. A lot of bugs. A lot of bugs. That's a little bit scary, actually, that it, there are so many bugs. Uh, can I, I could just throw a few people from development over to QA or hire a few. Marketing also doesn't have to do a whole lot right now. So, Oh, fans are actually unhappy? Oh, wow. <clears throat> I did not expect that. Richie. <clears throat> You're gonna help out in the game fair. I guess we could also just hire a few people. Uh, they want all of these fancy things like a sofa to hire them. Fine, let's give them some sofas. Sofa. I think one wanted a great chair. <clears throat> totally can do. <clears throat> Excuse me. And one wanted a long couch, the 6,005. Wow, that's a pricey couch. Where am I gonna fit that? Gotta be crazy. Nobody can afford that. Yeah, let's just sell this one and let's throw the big couch in there. The next building I'm gonna build is gonna be a really beautiful one. I'm probably gonna have to spend a whole episode just planning it out. Okay, this looks good. 400 bucks is a little bit scary and at this point development should be slowed down, I feel. Oh, actually we're gonna have to take the game off the market now. Take game from market. Yes, we made 120. Five million profit. That is crazy. That is absolutely crazy. It was only a double A game. This game is even is gonna be even crazier. Okay, improved sounds. We finished that up, so we might just throw on some cinematic music and maybe what else we have? Maybe some uh, professional cutscenes. I think I didn't activate it a second time. We'll see. Then again, we only have four people working there, so it takes a little bit longer to finish something up. Oh, your employees want more copiers. Really? That is what you want? Sure, where's a copier? You can totally have one. What are you gonna copy? If you're not copying your butt, I'm disappointed. Here, here's your copier. Have fun copying all your weird extremities. Okay, that is soon done so we can actually get started on fixing bugs because that's, that's a scary high number. That's a scary high number. We don't need to release it yet, though. Uh, we can keep working and improving on it if we want. And we should definitely do such a thing. Let's create another marketing campaign. Maybe some game magazines. Um, yeah, working on the box. That's good. They're going slowly down. I mean, marketing doesn't have to do too much anymore right now. Ooh, what do we got here? Five million... Arcania Conflict. Looks like a tennis game, so... I don't know. 37%. I don't know about that. Nee. Nee, I don't feel it. If there's a 5-star, I will sign it. I don't need to go for the low end of the spectrum anymore. I can do the expensive stuff. Day of the Moon 2. <laughs> no. 25%, you want 5 million, and then it's so shitty? Yeah, that's not gonna happen. That is not gonna happen, my friends. Okay, finish the... F we might get a lot of stuff into this game. Actually, all the graphic improvements from the looks of it. Because that stuff happens really fast now. We're gonna take a large booth. We're crazy rich. Might as well have a large booth to bring fans in. 2.17 million from another game. A fan campaign was completed. What is that, by the way? The seven. Production contracts. Oh, yeah, right. We could produce something for someone. Production contracts. Um, that's like nothing in six weeks. I don't even know why I, I, I don't really need to do that. I can do them, but as you can see, it's done super fast. Oh, sell remainders. You know where we should sell the remainders of everything just to get it off. You're and actually we're developing our development cycle is gonna be finished soon. Soonish. 
Oh, if we get rid of the bucks. So I don't want to start a budget game now and produce that. Let's create a marketing campaign for like another half million on it. Hand-drawn intro is done. Let's see what else we can do. We can... Yeah, we might actually be able to do all the graphic improvements. Um, ooh, sound improvements. Sorry about that. Yeah, let's do a few of that. Man. Look at those numbers. This is just plain insane. Well, fixing those bugs is not going to improve gameplay, but once we finish up the game, there's not going to be any more bugs, so we can throw in other improvements, I think. Then again, I don't think we need to do that. Definitely in the future, I want two QA studios. One for fixing bugs all the time, and one for throwing in gameplay improvements onto the game. Your profit share, 1.3 million. Wow! Golf World 2 fighting game. How is that going to play out? You're going to beat each other senseless with golf sticks. That sounds brutal. But, yeah, no, no. I'm just going to... I could take it and not publish it, take it from the market, but I have to give them 5 million. So, yeah, I'm gonna reject that offer. That's not happening. The work on the game has been completed. Look at that. <clears throat> that looks fancy. I wouldn't mind a good eco game like that. You can release your game now. Uh, we're gonna release it later. <clears throat> we need to fix bugs. And we can probably improve the graphics even a little bit further, yeah. While these guys are taking care of the remaining bugs. I guess we can throw some people from here onto QA to do that faster. Ah, no, we don't need to do that. Create a marketing campaign, Weasel Farm Tycoon TV campaign, and I think we should be able to... Oh, never mind, we're not going to release it at the same time. All right, we did all the graphic improvements we could. This must be a super beautiful game at this point. Like, super beautiful. 1.7 million for another game. TV campaign finished. Bugs are dunsies. Yes. So let's cancel that, and we're going to release the game. Yes, we're going to publish it now. <laughs> Find the publisher, good one. Uh, we're going to produce it ourselves, and I think in uh, ten weeks, that's a, that's a good time from now. Uh, eight weeks, we can produce fairly fast, and again, ten weeks just to be safe. Oh, we're going to throw in some nice things in there. Uh, retail price, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's going to be thirty bucks. Thirty bucks retail price. It could be higher than that, but I think thirty bucks. We want to sell a lot. All right, let's see how much we get rated. Wow! Wow! That's game of the year right there. Right there. 93%. Holy moly. This is going to be game of the year, I'm telling you. Produce game. Uh, I'm going to say 6 million. Is that 6 million? Looks like it. Okay. I'm going to produce 6 million there, and we're going to have to produce 6 million. Let's run a nice marketing campaign TV for that. Yeah, what I'm gonna do with you guys now? I mean, kind of, kind of, kind of tricky now. You know, you're just sitting, sitting around. I might as well take the whole game dev studio and train them some game design. Can I throw them all in there? And eh, not enough space. One, two, three. All right, good enough. And training course. Let's do some game design. Now it's at the top or programming. Yeah, let's do programming. Why not? Teach them some programming. You guys, there's nothing for you to do. I actually don't care. Because I'm way too excited to release a set game. Five more weeks. Eh, we got a million on hold. Oh, man. I already know we're going to need more production. Because I don't think we produce fast enough for the stuff we're going to sell. We'll see. We'll see. In worst case, we're going to build another production facility. Let's do more programming. Why not? Reduces the bugs in the future, I hope. And it's out on the market. And it sells 250,000 in the first week. And it keeps it keeps selling. It keeps selling. Crazy. All right, create a marketing campaign. Let's keep this one rolling. TV campaign. Okay, you guys are finished with your uh, training. So I'm going to take you back over. And we're going to throw game updates at this one. Like there's no tomorrow. Uh, develop game update. All right. Uh, technology, technology. Absolutely, there's a little bit of lag there. And new graphics. You know what? Let's do everything. We still do everything. It's like a million. Who cares? When that update is out, it's going to be fantastic. Yeah, we're barely keeping up with the sales. Barely keeping up. Your 250,000 per week is actually a really nice number. That update didn't do too much, so didn't do the other thing, but... 
I don't, I don't need anything else for this to do. Look at that, 330,000, uh, 330 million. Not a thousand dollars, that would not be a whole lot. I think, I think it's time to move into a giant building or so. Yeah, let's do a giant farm here thing. Uh, develop game update. I'm just gonna, for, you know, out of interest, I'm gonna throw another one at it. Just update, just to see what it's doing. Yeah, we can't keep up with that production. We cannot keep up with the production. So I will quickly build another... Wait, I can only have one? No. Okay, for a second I thought I could only have one production facility. We're gonna have two now. It's weird that I can't connect those, but whatever. Let's do it like that. Okay, throw that in. And of course we're going to need all the production facilities that we can get. The big presses. Yeah, let's just keep throwing production at it. Ah, it should do the trick. Produce game, Weasel Farm Tycoon, another million on top of it. And we're gonna... Eh, we're gonna see how that goes. Ah, uh, sales are going down. I think we're gonna have to play around with the pricing here a little bit. Price and packaging, let's ramp that to go down to 24. More reasonable price. And let's throw another marketing campaign at it. Yeah, TV and a game update. Because we can! That should give it an additional boost. Just want to see how crazy we can go here. Oh, never mind! 500,000 per week? Wow! I, I, I broke the game. Holy moly. Reject that offer. Um, I now have serious doubts that I can't even keep up with... That. I can barely keep up with production right now. Even though both of these are producing like crazy. Stop production, increase game, and give me, i say, 4 million. And here, give me another 4 million. Ah, that, that sounds crazy right now, but eh, better safe than sorry. You barely can keep out a lot of orders. 700,000 orders. Wow, okay. Guess what I'm going to do? I'm going to build another um, production facility. A third one. Man, uh, produce game, Weasel Farm Tycoon, 4 million, and of course, since this is not producing a lot, we have to throw the presses in. Okay, that's, that's the best I can do now. Bring it. A million copies waiting to be sold right now. That's crazy. Might as well throw another game update at it. Make this the best game that was ever made in Everness. Weasel Farm Tycoon. We should also start a fan campaign since the game fair is over. There's so much to do. Look at that. Still 1.2 million out there. We can't keep up with the production. Like, as all that we produce right now is sold immediately. <laughs> That's it's crazy. You know what? I'm gonna have to change the price. Price and packaging. If it's if people are so crazy about it, I'm gonna ramp this up to 36. Okay. That should reduce the demand a little bit here. Yeah, I finally can keep up with the orders. Wait, nothing left? Wow. Why is there nothing in stock? Okay, there's stuff in stock. Okay, we can barely keep up with the demand here, but we finally have more in stock than we... Finally more in stock. Okay, it went down. Let him produce a little bit. And then we're gonna throw something else on there. This episode is running a little bit longer, I'm sorry about that, but right now I'm just milking this game as best as I can. 4.2 million from another game. Yeah, let's do, 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 do a nice update here. Okay, that, that went down. Now we have finally a lot of stuff in stock. Now we're gonna reduce the cost again to, let's say, 26. That should boost the whole thing again. Ooh, what do we got here? 5.4 million reject the offer. Yeah, I'm not crazy about that. Alright. Actually, price and packaging gonna have to even go down further. Let's say 20. 20. 20. It's like a budget title now. Update has been completed. Never mind. Whenever you complete an update, it goes crazy. So price and packaging, we're gonna ramp that up again to 30. Let's let's keep it there. Let's keep it there for a while. It really makes a giant difference what price you're doing. 
I did not expect that. <laughs> Customers are probably super annoyed. Like, it's up, it's down, it's up, it's down. Decide! Decide! Well, this looks good. This looks good. We're barely finishing up the production here. Eh, this looks very well. Okay, I think we can now go ahead... I mean, I'm just going to develop another game update just because I have them right now. But I think in the next episode, we might want to move to a bigger office. And that's going to be a lot of planning. I mean, not too much planning, but... I might do that off episode because that would really take a whole episode to do. Just to build a new office. But I will give you a tour of the new office. And it's going to be... Which one is it going to be? The biggest one that we have, which will cost us 57 million. The gigantic office building. I probably can't fathom how big that actually is. In any case, I hope you guys enjoyed this a uh, little bit longer 35-minute episode. Sorry about that. Uh, I was just milking this game like crazy because I did not expect we would sell that many copies. But we did. 70 million. I'm gonna have to really have a big storage facility. Yeah, let's do a big game for while we're at it. Anyways, I hope you guys uh, enjoyed it. I'm Weasel. I'm out. And I hope to see you around. Bye-bye.